He's used to being behind the camera, but this week on Britain's Got Talent, 26 year old Ed Jewett wowed the judges with his own song that he'd written. Now, he's also written hits for One Direction and The Wanted, and also Olly Murs, but he wants to put his singing talents to the forefront and performed this week for the judges. Here's what happened when I caught up with Ed a little bit earlier. Hello Ed, my name's Ophelia, thank you for talking to me. Hi Ophelia, sorry I'm just finishing nice? off some, I can smell the chocolate. some panna shop. Bro. Actually smell it, it's loud. So good. <laughs> now speaking of so good, your performance on Saturday, now you're used to, you're known as being a uh, songwriter and singer as well, so how did it feel to be on the other side of the camera, how did it feel, what kind of emotions does that bring up as opposed to the songwriting? To be, well it's the whole reason I'm doing it really, is, is to, to have myself heard as, a, as an artist that mm -hmm. I've always wanted to be. Um, being up on that stage is just unreal. Um, you know, performing your own music mm. is, is something that every artist dreams of. Um, and to this day, I still haven't done it to the level that I want it. Um, I've never had my own top ten single. Yeah. I've never had you know, my own number one. Mm. You know, I've never performed at Wembley Stadium. And there, there are things that I wanted to do as a kid. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and the song Blink, it was such a lovely song, the lyrics were so nice. Mm. And you've had, you know, hits, Thanks. you know, you've co-written on songs with like One Direction and The Wanted. How did that all start for you? Um, that initially started from me trying to do the artist thing. I signed two major record uh, deals mm. and I was dropped twice. Uh, but in that time, I wrote a song called All Time Low, mm -hmm. and it was initially meant to be for me. Right. Um, but my label was going through a lot of changes and um, unfortunately a couple of my team were made redundant and then I um, I had no one really who had that much faith in that song mm. so I gave it to The Wanted yeah. um, and they smashed it and mm. it was it was great to see you know the song take on its own life yeah. and and it effectively kept me going because mm. after that I was dropped and then picked up by another record label yeah. and then unfortunately 10 months down and I dropped again yeah. so I've certainly um, experienced the highs and the lows of the mm. industry but um, still haven't yet done it, done it myself. Oh, well, you're, you're, you're still Maybe working I'm being at greedy it. but you know that's what I set out to do as a kid Absolutely. and just, just because the songwriting has been great yeah. on the side it still doesn't mean that I've got to where I want to be. And, you mm. know. Definitely. And how does it feel to kind of give away a song? Because I can imagine, you know, writing it, it's all with feelings and a lot of time you invest in that and energy. And then to give it away, how does that feel? Even though the success is amazing and you know you're part of it, but how does it feel to kind of give it away? Yeah, it's easier when you've written a song that you know is going to be given yeah. away. But when there's a song that you really want for yourself, mm. you know, and, you know, like All Time Low, there was a point where I had to use my brain and was mm. like, I, in order for me to, for you know, for me to carry on, you know, I need to give this song away. And yeah, um, yeah it's like, you know, like giving a little child. Up. It's not not like giving a little child up <laughs> for adoption. That's far more serious. Absolutely. Um, but you know, it's, it's it's a part of you, and it's um, it is like you said, something that you've grafted over yeah. and put a lot of time and effort into. So absolutely. You know. And your first song, if I've got this right, when you were little, was it Frisbee, the first song that you wrote? first song I wrote was called Frisbee. That's so sweet. Yeah, I was, I think I was about 12, 13, and um, yeah, sung it to my friends in the park. Did they like it? They did, yeah. I made the girls cry. Did you? See, that's yeah. a good... I but they were probably good, just like, ah, oh, oh, what is this? <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> yeah. And you know, Alicia said in her opinion she felt that Blink could be a hit song. Is that your actual goal to write a song and perform it, and it for it to be a hit? Is that what you set out to do? Because you say you're not quite there yet. So would that yeah. be what you want? It's it's really as simple as that. Mm -hmm. And 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 my dream is no different, you know, other than you know, yeah. the, the line of work. My dream is no different to millions of people out there, the other contestants on yeah. Britain got Britain's Got Talent. And I do I, I do think it would be unfair that you know that I'd be criticised mm. just because I've written for yeah. people it's like great but it's still what well, so that means i should just give up Stop. Yeah, or, and just not do yeah. it no 
Shut up. See, I thought that as well. I thought, you know, because I, I read that some people may have suggested that you may be at an unfair advantage because you've done the songwriting, you know. You may have some celebrity friends already, but in my it's like opinion... like professional football. Yeah, you know, I don't feel... Because like, we see these shows, we see people coming back time and time again, which, in my opinion, I don't feel you're at an unfair advantage. But how does that make you kind of feel that people may say, oh, you've written for One Direction, you must have a little bit of success, or you've written for Wanted? You know, it was expected, and, and I think it is something that, that should be addressed. It's not something that I'm going to... Um, you know, shy away mm. from from talking about. Um, I I don't know. You know, I expected it before before I did the show. Right. I, I, you know, it was something that I was aware could potentially mm. crop up, and it has. But I think the majority of people were just seeing it for what it is, mm. and that is just you know, someone who's really, really, really working their backside mm. off to try and get something that they still yeah. haven't quite got. And there's nothing wrong with that. No, there know? isn't at all. And if the songs aren't, at the end of the day, if the songs aren't good enough, and if the public aren't liking what mm -hmm. they're hearing, then they'll let me know. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go, cool, yeah. my time's over. Mm. Thank you for listening, you yeah. know. But until then, until I get that big thumbs down, I'm not gonna stop going to stop going. And Mr. Simon Cowell was absent from your audition. Um, did you feel like it was less pressure, or were you a bit disappointed you didn't get to see him perform on that day? When I found out he wasn't going to be there, I was like, "Yes." <laughs> I was it's because, honest. Well, no, I was because I was like, "Okay, cool. That's one less judge, yep. and not only that, the scariest judge." Yeah. Um, and then after it had gone well and I got through, they were like, "I, I was literally like, oh, it would have been quite nice actually, mm. Simon. Obviously, you know, birth of his child yeah. was slightly more important." Mm. Some stuff going but, um, yeah, but um, no, it was good, you know. Hopefully, he'll get to see, Fingers see crossed. some more of me. Yeah. Fingers crossed. And finally, do you feel, Ed, you've got what it takes to win Britain's Got Talent? Do you know what? I've always answered things very modestly, mm -hmm. and I, I've got to say it because I think now is the time that I finally get my songs heard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I do. Well, good for you. Good for you. Congratulations for coming this far. Thank you Thank for talking you to me. Thank you very much, for you. Yeah, cheers. Bye -bye. Do you feel Ed has what it takes to win Britain's Got Talent? Stay tuned for more Britain's Got Talent info from me, Athena Dennis, for Unreality TV.